Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Columbia Love 41, and we're doing another unboxing of Funko's DC Legion of Collectors for July 2016, Suicide Squad. And it's the Suicide Squad based on the movie, not so much the comics. So let's get right into it. So opening up the box, we have the patch and the pin that they include every month. They have the Suicide Squad photos with a yearbook style that they're, they've kind of been pushing as far as like they call it the yearbook photo, where it looks straight out of a school yearbook. And the production card, the comic book. Next in is the t-shirt. The reaction figures of Joker and Harley. And the Enchanter's Funko Pop. Next up is the Funko Pop of Enchantress. She's the only one missing from the collection and Funko as well as DC were saving it for this exclusive box. This is the only place you can get her. So if you are a completionist like me, uh, I would suggest ordering the box if you haven't already. She looks good. She's highly detailed. Uh, she's heavy, but heavy in a good way. She's not top heavy. Uh, when you first look at her, you think that she is going to topple over as far as like her hair and her head on this like toothpick of a body. And if you don't use the clear base stand that's included, she does tilt to the side. But as soon as you stick the base stand on it, she's perfectly straight. And it makes sense why her feet are shorter than her hair because on the stand, the stand kind of curves upward a little bit enough that with her shorter feet it makes the hair longer and she's not actually getting caught on anything you see all the little tattoos on her if you spin her body around they didn't skimp on the back either put a lot of little details into her and she looks good next up they have included two reaction figures one of the jared leto joker and margot Robbie's harley quinn uh, about the Joker first, uh, the Joker is in his shiny alligator skin trench coat. He has the bat symbols on his pants, the little mouth sticker on his shoes, the tattoos that you can see are on him. Uh, he's fully art He can fully articulate except at the knees where the coat comes down. He can bend at his hips, but his knees do not go all the way um, into a 90 degree angle. Not really a big deal unless you were posing him in a specific way or if someone was making a custom. As far as Harley Quinn goes, she is in what everybody has been seeing uh, as far as costume wise in the trailers with the uh, property of Joker jacket, uh, the torn t-shirt with the hot pants and her stockings and the high heeled boot sneaker things they got her hair right as far as the red and the blue on the side and the ponytails her baseball bat has um clear writing on it that says good night kind of looks like it's written with tattoo uh, as far as the figures go i like them i mean they look pretty good i am not a big collector of the reaction figures but some of them are are nice if you're um kind of a general collector of figures like i am you can pretty much put these figures anywhere so it's a it's a nice little thing that they did with these the comic book for this month is from suicide squad number one i like the cover art i do like that they did harley with the old school joker emblem from the original comic books next up is the t-shirt on the t-shirt are joker harley deadshot katana and rick flag it's a cool t-shirt they did include one of those uh production cards that's what i call them 
uh, that basically details how they chose different figures and different designs. As far as t-shirt goes again, um, it is a cool looking t-shirt, but I think I liked one of the other t-shirt designs a little bit better. So that's it for this month's unboxing. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos and I'll see you next time.